About a year ago, we were here at SeaWorld San Diego for Emperor Media Day, and today is another very special media day. We're here for Arctic Rescue, their new Intamin roller coaster. It's just insane to me that my home park now has a B&M and an Intamin. What the heck? They're expanding so rapidly, I knew I had to come out here and check it out. Tomorrow, we're actually gonna be in Indiana for Holiday World's Hollywood Nights event, so I figured I would squeeze this in right before our flight over there. I couldn't miss it for the world. Arctic Rescue Media Day, I knew I had to check it out. I can't wait to ride this new coaster. The fastest and longest straddle coaster on the west coast which isn't saying a whole lot the only other straddle coaster here is pony express at knott's berry farm which if you've been on that you know it's very short pretty uneventful but nevertheless i don't think this ride needed to be marketed i'm just i think it's a great fit for the park another really fun family thrill edition here at SeaWorld san diego i mean you see how popular manta is arctic rescue's got to be got to be pretty popular when it opens so of course with this being media day it is before the opening day which is tomorrow so we're actually writing it before it opens and so i'll be make sure to capture all my povs and everything for you guys to see the ride before it opens to the public tomorrow i have i brought my stepfather hugh he doesn't ride coasters but he's very nerdy and knowledgeable about coasters and i, I told him this ride is not super intense i think you can handle it how are you feeling going into arctic rescue i know you haven't seen it yet i think it'll be okay i handled manta okay this is my first uh, modern Intamin, that'll be pretty cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it actually. Yeah, 30 feet tall, shouldn't be too bad. I mean, he was looking at Emperor and he was like, that looks nasty for him, but Arctic, Re Arctic Rescue shouldn't <laughs> be too bad. So we're gonna head inside the park and we'll see you inside. We're heading straight to ride it. Off they go, we're next, can we? Are you ready? No. <laughs> Here we go, we're off on Arctic Rescue. SeaWorld 6 coaster, right at the first launch. Here we go. survive nice. <laughs> it wasn't that intense at all no. but it's all I don't think ride. I want to go on a second time <laughs> for a while guys i just got off of arctic rescue for my first ever ride we did it in the very back row and it's exactly about what i was expecting i'm a big fan of those intimate straddle coasters they're really fun comfortable smooth experiences and this is no exception it's a great fit for SeaWorld san diego you know at first i was like this is kind of weird to add here because it's so similar to manta so so many of the stats are actually the exact same as manta but i think because of the straddle setup it's different enough from manta and it makes a lot of sense in the lineup diego in a coaster dash vlog oh my god, oh my god what <laughs> what'd you think what? Oh, it's good. Yeah. Um, it's fun. It's long. It's like, it's like a tamer Manta. Do you like it more than Manta or less? It's about the same. About the same? I think I like Manta more. I like how that has some air time, that has yeah. a little bit more variety. This is a great family coaster. I think it's a nice stepping stone. Mm -hmm. It's something that you can do and then maybe work your way up. Yeah, it's a good filler. Yeah. yeah, like this is more twisty while Manta's more like flowy and like... You, you didn't do so well, but you wrote it. No, I, I did okay. I just didn't enjoy it that After going to the much. bathroom, do you feel better? Yeah, I guess I do, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's, 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 I mean, it's a pretty tame roller coaster and no inversions. I like that. Um, I like the launches. The launches are fun, actually. I would say the launches are actually fun. So that was cool. I just don't like the twisting and all that stuff so much. No but. Twisted Colossus though. Yeah. That I, really messed with you. That did. And that West, did. Coast and West Coast Racers. West Coast Racers. Yeah. Messed, messed this doesn't out. pull like many positive forces. It's just very light and no airtime yeah. either. It's, it's, a, it's a mellow ride. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I did it. What's up? Yeah, I just rode it. It was fantastic. You want to say anything to the video? Wait, what It's going right now. It's going right now. 
Hi, I'll, I'll cut we're it so out. glad you're here. Come and see us again. <laughs> that was funny. Mid, mid coaster ash vlog. Attention. Uh oh, the ride did an intimate. Attention, please. Clear the Arctic Rescue Launch and Shock Areas. The ride's been broken for quite a little while, and I have a flight to catch in not too long, so uh, I might just have to head out after the second ride. Maybe I'll squeeze in a third, but not looking too good for that. Good news is that the second ride will be in the very front row. Last time I did very back, so at least I'll get some variety on my rides. All right, filming, filming, filming. All right, guys, we are on the front row of Arctic Rescue now. We got Diego here. What's up? Can't wait to try this out in the front. Back row was fun. Front row might be even better. Got that view. You got that sense of speed. Let's do it. Here we go. Into the first launch. Let's get it. Was the way to go in Arctic Dude, Rescue. That, that was fun. That fun. was really fun. That's a silky smooth, long, awesome family coaster. I think that's definitely best in the front. Back row was good, but that you get the view, you get that sense of speed, as I said. That is so much fun. I love that. Yeah! <laughs> All right, guys, as it turns out, we will have time for a third ride, which is good, as long as it doesn't do an Intamin again and break. Um, but yeah, we got off the front. That was really good fun. I, I enjoyed the front definitely the best um, between the front and the back. It was easily the best. It just feels so exposed, so free. I love the seating setup, by the way, the straddle seating. I think that's why this ride works in this park. Uh, I think Mantis is a more complete experience. If you're asking which one I like more, I still like Manta more. Where are those places in the park? I'd probably say Emperor, Manta, and then probably this, because I'm not a huge fan of Electric Eel. I don't like the Skyrockets that much. But you know, when you have six coasters and none of them are inherently bad besides Tidal Twister, I think uh, I think this is pretty good. <laughs> He's like laughing in the <laughs> over here. If it was just a regular seating setup, I think that would be a little weird. Because if you would have asked me uh, what they should get next, I wouldn't say a family coaster is it. I think this part, this plot of land could have been used for something taller and faster, but that's okay, you know? It's a good ride. I think the whole crowd that comes to this park will really enjoy it because the, they get a lot of families here. It's a definitely family demographic. And I think all those families will really enjoy this ride. We're on Arctic Rescue for our last ride. Back row, reverse POV this time. So switching it up a little bit. that kind of resemble snow. That's cool. Whoa. This is the best element right here. It's so fun. <laughs> Whoa! It's actually warmed up a little bit. Oh yeah. It's going a bit faster than it was earlier. That's really good. Oh yeah, especially compared to the morning. Yeah. Something that no one's talking about is this first launch is not flat. It's actually uphill. The other yeah. two are, you know, just flat, but that's kind of weird. Not wasn't expecting that. So once you enter the interior, you got the lockers to the left. If you go straight, this is for the exhibit, the Wild Arctic exhibit. They kept this from the old simulator ride. Um, if you exit the coaster, you can go left and basically this is kind of part of the exit queue, which is I think kind of cool. Kind of adds a whole experience to it. And in my opinion, this is the best exhibit in the park. It has the most impressive animals and viewing areas and all that. So we're gonna walk through this and then we will head out and I will wrap up with some general thoughts on the attraction, the theming, and pretty much everything else. Stop every once in a while to take a breath. 
but there is also an underwater viewing if you would like to see them swimming under I think this is a really cool exhibit. I'm glad this is kind of integrated in the whole Wild Arctic experience. Man, he's excited. One of the coolest parts about this is you can actually touch the ice and it's very cold. They have a whole ice wall. Wow, look at that thing. It is huge. Oh my god. It's so cool that you can ride an Intamin themed to the Arctic and then come out and, and see all these super cool animals from the Arctic. Just like that, 20 minutes later, we're at the San Diego International Airport. No line for TSA, very, very quick and easy process, of course. It is a weekday after all. So I will be catching a flight to Portland, Oregon. We're gonna meet up with my brother, Sean. Then from there, we're gonna be flying to Ohio, picking up a car, driving to Indiana, and we will see you guys at Hollywood Nights in the next video, but first. Don't know if I've ever reviewed a ride in an airport, but there's a first for everything. Overall, the event was really enjoyable. Arctic Rescue is a great coaster. It will be popular with the park. It's just, it, it will. The park gets so many families. It's a great family addition. Do I think it's a little redundant with Manta in the lineup? Yes, but like I've been saying, I don't think it's totally redundant because it has the straddle seating. If it didn't have the straddle seating, it would be a little bit weird. I don't know if I'd agree with the addition then. I do still believe that that spot, that plot of land, should have still be used for something a little bit bigger because from my understanding, that part of the park, they can build up to 160 feet with the, the right approval. So I'm not sure why they didn't go for something bigger. For what they had to work with, a 30-foot attraction, that's fine. Like, that, that, the ride was very enjoyable. But I've already talked about the ride experience. Now I want to talk about the theming a little bit. So of course, um, as I showed you guys, they kept the exhibit which you now exit in. And that's a really great exhibit. I'm so glad they did that. It really ties into the whole climate change theme, you know, protecting the Arctic. I really enjoy that. But there are a few things I think they cheaped out on. The first is the queue line. There's not really much of a queue line. There's like a uh, switchback and then you go inside the building and there's a station. It's not really much. The station actually looks okay, but then the turn inside the station, I feel like you should be looking at something there instead of, it's like a warehouse. You know, there should have been like an aquarium or something to look at, maybe some theming. And then the last thing, the thing that really bothers me the most is you have fences around the perimeter of the ride. In my opinion, that's actually, it takes away a little from the immersion, especially when you see over the fences and you can see all the, the dirt they had to clear out and all the construction vehicles and all that stuff. What I would have loved to see them do is put a bunch of like ice sculptures all around the ride. Kind of like what everyone wanted them to do with Icebreaker at SeaWorld Orlando. They didn't, they cheaped out. They did with this too. I think that would have been so cool and uh, it would have really added to the immersion of the experience. I do, however, like how they did something with this. Even though you can't see the layout from inside the park, you can only see it when you're on the ride, it's really cool that they didn't do nothing because with Emperor, you didn't get anything. With this, you do have these white rocks that resemble snow. That's pretty cool. I also like all the different flags of the Arctic countries. Yeah, overall, I mean, I'm glad they did something with that. I think that could have been a lot worse. So in terms of the theming, I'll give them like a five out of 10. They didn't do a bad job. They didn't do a good job. Somewhere right in the middle. The layout was really fun. For a family coaster, I have no complaints there. So definitely, if you guys are in the area, if you're already thinking about coming to SeaWorld San Diego, this is just another great reason to do it. So surreal, as I said in the very beginning of the video, that we now have a B&M and an Intamin at SeaWorld San Diego, my home park. It's just totally wild. I will say, it's going to be interesting to see what they do next. They don't really have a whole lot of space anymore. So that'll be something to keep an eye on. I think next will probably be a flat ride, but in terms of their next coaster, I'm not sure where they're going to put it. But whatever the case, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun. Thank you for joining me for Media Day, and I will see you guys in the next video from Hollywood Nights. Should be a great time. Bye guys.